Today, in collaboration with Amman Private University, we honored the well-known poet and writer, Dr. Salma Khadr Jayusi. We thought, you know, it was high time to do something uh, for this lovely woman who, who was the one to, I think, um, build a bridge between East and West by translating many books written in the Arabic language into the English language. She spoke about uh, how she started the project. <laughs> And she was the one to say that basically uh, she wanted to tell the West maybe that we do have a culture of our own as Arabs, we do have a heritage, we do have a legacy when it comes to literature and when it comes to writing. And that legacy is not recognized by people in the West because they're not privy to our culture and they're not acquainted with Arabic language. So they do not know how to read, for instance, where we're coming from, to understand us for who we are, to be able to understand my voice, my side of the story. So she was the one to say that, unlike others, she decided that maybe I am going to be the one to translate this literature into the English language to uh, bridge that gulf, which is really very huge between the East and the West. And she did a very good job, I think. She wrote books in the Arabic, in the Arabic language, okay, about us, okay, and she wrote, she translated many books written in the Arabic language by poets, by writers, and of course by people in the academia, and she translated beautifully. She was able to retain, I think, the culture and the innuendos that you find in every single language. And uh, that is why I totally agree with her project because in a way it is a must-have, a project that will enable us to, okay, to, to bridge the gap if you want. That is, I think Hedef Swift was the one to talk about a common ground. Okay, she called it the Mezatera. And I think that Salma Khadr al is doing that. She's creating a space, opening up a space. And from her speech, you understand it was carving a space because it was hard at the very beginning, I think, to be, to be accepted and to be, of course, uh, to be recognized. But now she's really doing very well. And she says that uh, at least uh, people in the West do not have to concentrate on us like they see a veiled woman, for instance, and they think that, uh, you know, my life is oppressive, okay, my life is backward, I I'm going to be rescued or saved, and people in the West are going to do it for me. No, she wants to highlight, okay, our a true culture. It's a culture of, if you want, a communication, a culture of uh, multiculturalism as well. So she wants the West to understand that, again, we're human beings. And listen to my tale, because every tale has a voice behind it. So the voices, okay, are becoming, whether you like it or not, heteroglossic. And they are being shared by everyone. And I think she's debunking some of the myths okay, that have been perpetuated about people who live in the East, in the Middle East, that we, we don't have a heritage, we do not have a culture, we do not have a literature of our own. And by doing that project, she, she's really very proud of it. And she says, okay, at least it is happening. And now the new generations should be holding the banner for the future generations, and that project should be on the go. We should be moving onward and forward, no matter what happens, and not to let any impediment okay, be, in, uh, be, be, be in the way, because we have to overcome all of the stumbling blocks and to keep on communicating. It's really, I think, very important what she has done. So she, her speech uh, revolved around what she has done and the importance of what she has done. And uh, I think we should thank Salma Khadr al Jayusi for embarking on a huge, gigantic project, okay, and for basically enabling others, okay, to see us through our lens, for things to be filtered through our own minds and through our own heads, not for things to be written about us, okay, because I, our scholarship has been marketed, people write about us. Now we should be holding the pens and we should be telling our own stories, and that's what it's all about.